The 2019 NFL season is officially here. Every new year has teams and fans dripping with optimism and hope, but this season, the Jets could be actually onto something special. Their first test at home is against Buffalo on Sunday. It's year two for quarterback Sam Darnold, but year one for head coach Adam Gase and new running back Le'Veon Bell. Bell didn't play the entire preseason and also sat out all of 2018, but don't expect the shifty running back to be on a pitch count. Gay says he's ready to go, and Bell says he doesn't want to be held back. Meanwhile, in East Rutherford, Big Blue kicks off the year on the road in Dallas. There is no bigger storyline this year than under center. It's year number 16 for Eli Manning, but this season, there's a large shadow lurking behind him at backup. When and if rookie Daniel Jones takes over remains to be seen. The Giants offense and defense will also look a bit different this year. Landon Collins and Odell Beckham Jr. are gone, but at least the team still has Saquon Barkley. The Giants and Cowboys kick off on Sunday at 425. The NFL season did officially kick off on Thursday with the Packers and Bears. If you missed a game, trust me, you didn't miss much. <laughs> Green Bay won 10 to three thanks to this touchdown from Aaron Rodgers to Jimmy Graham. It was the only score of the entire game. I said you didn't miss much. Now to the U.S. Open Finals. The championship stage is set in the women's bracket. For the second straight year, Serena Williams will have a shot to win a 24th Grand Slam title. Staying in her way of getting there is 19-year-old Bianca Andrescu. The two faced off last month in the Rogers Cup Final, and Serena was forced to retire with an upper back injury. Now they get to meet again before the U.S. Open Championship. A new batch of Sports Center commercials were rolled out today, and the giant star Saquon Barkley featured in one of them. Well, sort of. His famous quads were the center of discussion. Take a look. So, as I was saying, the numbers clearly. So, anyway, uh, yeah. now if we. My lay day routine? I don't know what he's talking about. We never had that conversation. That's what happens when you can bench and squat a million pounds. And finally, while most MLB pitchers won't remember their first ever strikeout, Iona Prep grad and Ryan native Brian Moran will. It came against his younger brother, Colin. Brian, who just received his first major league call up with Miami, made his debut Thursday night against Pittsburgh. Check out dad, who's really excited, but mom, a bit more reserved, but still happy. I'd love to be a fly on the wall during their Thanksgiving. Yeah, hey, Mom, right? why didn't you scream for me? Or Colin <laughs> would be like, Dad, you were a little bit too excited. But Not no, that's a great much. moment for their family. Yeah. A brother, first strikeout against his younger brother. Oh, that's what cool. Saying, I own you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, definitely. I would love to be at that Thanksgiving dinner. But congrats to the locals. A great stage for them. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. That's very cool. Definitely. Good stuff, Justin. Thank, Thank you. you. Still ahead, it's a tribute to the Troopers. How New Jersey's Little League champs, the Elmore Troopers, they're being celebrated in their hometown. That's up next.